My name is Paul, and I'm a developer advocate, and that's a bit weird, because I'm not a developer. I'm a sysadmin who learned just enough Ruby to call myself a devil. And if you know me, I'm not much of an advocate. <laughs> so uh, I come here today not to uh, praise DevOps, but to bury it. That's some Shakespeare, because I'm like cultured as fuck. <laughs> so before, uh, before we had DevOps, uh, we call ourselves systems administrators, and we like to play Halo a lot. And so we wrote a bunch of Perl scripts to automate editing send mail CF files, uh, and just played Halo and stuff, and that was great. Um, in about 2007, this guy Andrew uh, does a first of feather session in Toronto at an Agile conference uh, on Agile infrastructure, and nobody actually showed up to it, not even Andrew. That was kind of a, a prophecy of what was to come uh, with DevOps. A year later at Velocity, John Walsh and some other guy uh, wrote a, uh, did a, a talk, 10 deploys a day at, uh, at Flickr. And it kind of set the groundwork and, and whatever for what DevOps was going to become. Uh, they almost always, almost all already said it. Uh, so a year later, Patrick Dubois holds the first uh, conference. Agile systems administration was too long. So he used the creativity that Belgians are famous for took the word development, operations, and days and just slammed them together. And we got DevOps. About 60 people showed up, it was in Belgium. So they just drank a bunch of beer and then argued for two days about like, how to capitalize DevOps. <laughs> and they didn't actually define DevOps. Uh, later they would say that was a feature, not a bug. Um, but they just ran out of time. And that's okay, because we know that only terrorists write manifestos. <laughs> Without a definition, we were kind of left to just cargo call DevOps and do whatever we wanted. Uh, so we uh, fired all our sysadmins and hired a, bunch of de hired a bunch of DevOps. The smart sysadmins called ourselves DevOps and got like 100 grand a year pay raise. That was pretty sweet. Meanwhile, our, uh, our vendors were left to just package up whatever the fuck it was they were already selling and call it DevOps. I'm not sure what IBM says about their customers when they write them dummies books, but you know, I'm not going to go there. Uh, Amazon comes along and says, your DevOps is so expensive. Just use our platform and you can do no ops. And we're like, fuck yeah, so we fired all our DevOpses. <laughs> Didn't necessarily go as planned. There were some issues. And uh, we tried to figure out what we were going to do, because all our DevOpses had gotten uh, better, more rewarding jobs. <laughs> and so we needed to find some DevOpses. Luckily, Google came along, and they said, we've invented this brand new thing, called Site Reliability Engineering, and it's exactly like DevOps, but it's definitely not DevOps. And they didn't just give it a definition, they wrote a whole fucking book about it. <laughs> I haven't actually read the book myself, but a friend of mine told me that SRE is when a bunch of developers write some software and then throw it over the wall to a bunch of operators to run for them. I think this is a great new way to run software, and I'm looking forward to see how well it works. <laughs> um, of course, we, we decided that you couldn't just run it any old way, you had to throw it in a Docker container and then run it in Kubernetes. And that didn't work out so well either. Turns out there's much more to running infrastructure than just cargo calling a bunch of cloud native bullshit, right? So Amazon comes along and says, don't worry, we've got this Lambda thing, servers are the problems, so we'll just throw out the servers. Uh, and that seems like a good idea, right? Um, for those of you who haven't used servers before, it's when you take your WordPress application and you throw out the server. Now, some of you might be asking, well, if there's no server, where the fuck is my WordPress running? And that's when I do have to admit that you might need to re-architect your application just a little bit in order to work within the server's framework. But look how much fucking simpler it is. It's easy, right? Now, not wanting to be outdone, Google's like, hold my beer. Not only do we have serverless, but you can run serverless on top of Kubernetes in your data center on top of your own servers. <laughs> and uh, with that, I'm actually here to actually let you know that we don't need you anymore. We don't have servers. We don't need DevOps. You're all fired. I've compiled a list of jobs that you as a DevOps is qualified to do. Uh, personally, I'm looking forward to my new, uh, my, my new role as a fortuitous pauper. Thank you.